Hey, welcome to the pod. I'm still in New Zealand and I just wrote something down. I literally just recorded the previous episode two seconds ago. <laughs> I was about to get up and be like, cool, I'm going to go do something else now and write my book. But I suddenly just started writing down a message for you. So I was like, oh, may as well record it right now while my gear's out. So I'm just trusting the universe will send this out to the people who really need to hear this. So if you hear this episode and you're like, fuck, that was for me. Yes, it was. Okay. I'm just going to read out what I wrote and then I may or may not divulge. This might be a two second app. We don't know. You are stronger than you think you are. You deserve to live the life you want. What does your soul actually want? I want you to look into that. It's really important. And I don't mean things. Outside of material things, what does your soul want? What would nourish you? What would it take to get there? You need to know that you are destined for greatness. You're capable of so much greatness. You also need to know that there is so much that you do in this world already that helps a lot of people along their path that you're not even aware of. Your very existence is helping people. There are people out there who just by knowing you become a better person. And I think that's a really a special, important thing to know that just your existence makes the world a better place. Okay. So then with like a little bit of effort, imagine what you'll fucking do. Holy shit. Stop following traditions. You can make up whatever rules you want, obviously outside of like breaking the law and stuff like that. Like when it comes to societal traditions, you don't need to just follow what people do. You don't need to just do what everyone else does to fit in. Like we're past that now. No one cares about that anymore. Do you know, like, like since coming back out into the world, completely fucking authentic version of myself, you would not believe how many people are fucking flocking to me right now. It's insane. And this whole time I kept all this locked away because I thought it was like shit. And I was just trying to be like everyone else before all this. So I, I just really implore you to, Look within, journal out, write the words, what does my soul actually want? And if you're like, a car, like, no, your soul doesn't want a fucking car, babe. <laughs> what would your soul want? <laughs> what seems like the most beautiful dream life for you? And then you can kind of be like, all right, well, what would it take to get there? And if you're like, that's, that's a lot of steps. It would take a lot to get there. Okay, cool. How can you make it a tiny bit part of your every day? If you want to be in this like beautiful garden full of wild flowers and you can't just yet because you're not actually a millionaire at the moment <laughs> and you're renting, you don't have a garden. <laughs> is there somewhere you can go on a weekend getaway that is like known for its beautiful flowers and nature? Can you make a little garden trough out the back? Like bringing a tiny little bit wherever you can of the future life that you want into your every day will bring that life closer to you. I fucking promise you. I've been doing it and it's happening. It's insane. Okay. And what else did I write down for you? Oh, I would like you to say this after me, if you want. It's kind of like, I just want you to ask the universe to help you. And I need you to really feel into this, like really feel it as you say it. Okay. Angels, guides, universe, please help me take the steps I need to take to live a happier, more empowered life, walking my soul's path. Thank you. It's actually crazy. Like sometimes, like just today, even I was walking down the beach and I was told that here where I'm staying in New Zealand, there's this um, river mouth and there's heaps of rocks on this beach. And Becca's sister-in-law was showing me all these like really beautiful crystal quartz, um, just raw, but like with awesome, like really beautiful bits of like crystal just like coming out. Like it was insanely gorgeous. It was the kind of thing you would buy at a crystal shop. <laughs> I guess crystals do come from the earth for four shops, you know? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> And she was like, yeah, I just got these at the beach, like down the river where you're staying. She's like, I just walk along the waterline. They're all there. I was like, what the fuck? So I was walking along the beach today and I couldn't see any at first. 
And I was like, universe, can you help me find a pretty crystal? <laughs> I want to find a pretty crystal. <laughs> and then I found like six <laughs> and I couldn't find any. I did like, I did this whole half of the beach without finding any. And then I was like, I'm just going to ask the universe. And then I just saw, I just saw them. Do you know what I mean? Like little things like that. Like sometimes, or there was a situation, like it's also great to express your gratitude as well. There was a situation I was driving around a roundabout and this kid on a bike, like drove, like rode out in front of me. And I was like, fuck, that was pretty risky of him. And I didn't see his mate coming out of the shadows, but his mate was about to follow right where my car would have been at that time. So this kid basically nearly fucking ran out in front of my car and he saw me and I saw him. So I broke at the same time as he broke. So he didn't quite fully leave the curb like his front half did, but I also slowed the fuck down all at the same time. So we both noticed each other right at the perfect moment. Do you know what I mean? And straight away, I was like, okay, we're all good. Like just kept driving, but on the inside and in my head, like out loud, I'm in the car and I was just like, oh my God, thank you universe or angels or guides. Like, just thank you for having my back. Cause like right now, because I'm doing everything I can to walk my soul's mission and path and listening to the universe around me, listening to my energy, listening to the signals that I'm getting, I'm looking out for things. I'm pulling myself back into presence as much as I can to really feel out what I'm supposed to do and enjoy myself. Like I just need to enjoy myself and do what feels good. So I'm doing that. And I just know that right now, you know, going through a situation like that is just not on the cards for me because that would really be a fucking, like I've learned a lot of lessons and it's not to say that I don't have more lessons to learn in the future. And it's not to say there's not going to be more hardships and that'll be fine. I'll overcome them when they come. Um, but that just would have been completely derailing of the the course that I'm on. And I just know that the universe is like, yeah, we need you on this course. Like you're doing great for heaps of people and you need to keep going. So like I was protected. Do you know what I mean? And I'm fucking so grateful for that. So grateful. So asking for help in the areas that you need help and then expressing gratitude anytime that you notice that you were helped. And sometimes the help comes through in different ways. You know what I mean? Sometimes you don't get the exact answer that you're hoping, but you get the answer that you need. Right. So like keep it, keep your eyes and ears and heart and your energy just aware of all of what's around you. And yeah, I just really can't stress to you enough how important it is to try and become authentic to who you are in like a really true sense of the word, not in the sense of the word of like, okay, I'm just like going to try and be myself and I'm feeling weird and da da da. Like when you do it from a place of your heart space, like when you move into your heart space, if you, if you can get to a place in your heart where you're like, oh, I am one with the world around me and everyone here is just having a human, human experience just like me. Everyone around me is having hard times, easy times. Like everyone shits, you know what I mean? Like we're all, we're not that fucking different from each other. When you can get to that place and you can hold love for people, even when they're causing you pain, you don't need to allow the pain. You can have boundaries. You can be like, fuck no, and remove yourself from the situation you can still hold like love for people. Um, when you get to that place in your journey, it's, I think authenticity just, it's a matter of just setting yourself free. You know what I mean? Just like, it's all right, exist, be brave, be bold, just do it. Just exist as you are. People who are right for you will find you. If you're out there just expressing yourself and being yourself and the crowd say it's your, maybe your Instagram followers or your friend group or your family, aren't receiving you well, they're just not your audience. You know what I mean? Maybe someone else needs to be their person. But if you keep being who you are and you know that you're a good person, it's not to say that not to develop and grow. Like if you're like realizing that everyone around you who you really respect and love is responding badly to you, maybe like check yourself a bit and be like, all right, what is it that I'm doing? That's obviously shit. Like why are people kind of Am I expecting too much of people? Am I putting too much of my own shit on other people? Am I not being aware enough of them outside of myself? Like check yourself, develop yourself, grow, become aware of yourself. Um, but also be yourself, like whatever it is that you want to express out into the world or you want to achieve, or if you've got some dream and you're like, oh, I really want to do that, but I probably couldn't, or everyone I know would laugh at me or whatever, like do it the right people who would not laugh at you will find you. If you are being yourself and you're existing in the world in the way that feels right and you're, you're like, I care about this thing and I'm going after it and I really want to do this and I'm doing something that's going to be better for everyone, you know, make the world a better place in one way or another for, you know, 
for the people that align with you, it's going to work out and it will feel good. And it won't like the more authentic you are going into whatever it is that you want to achieve in your life, the faster the people who will, you know, benefit from it can find you. It's like you send out a signal. It's almost like your energy reaches this frequency and everyone else who is at that frequency is like, bing. (laughs) And then you just find each other. They just come in. I literally can't explain it better than just the universe sends them. I don't fucking know. It's insane. (laughs) It's actually insane. (laughs) It's like pure magic. (laughs) Anyway, I wrote something um, the other day at the beach. I want to read it to you. I was not prepared with this. Sorry. It really just occurred to me when I was talking. There's like a few little poems and everything, but they were kind of just coming through and I think I need to share them. Okay. So one of them is every day is a new day. Yesterday is only in my mind. Today is the best day of my life. And then the next one is the sun is hot. The air is cool. All there is, is me and you. I am the universe and you are my body like a river. I'll flow through you. Isn't that beautiful? (laughs) I wrote it and I was like, Oh my God, my heart (laughs) hit myself in the feels. (laughs) I'm ridiculous. (laughs) Okay. I also wrote, there is no beginning. There is no end. Together we flow. I am the river at the top of the mountain. I'm the babbling brook. I'm the water in the fountain. I'm the puddle in the nook. I am fierce like the ocean and I'm calm like the bay. There is no beginning. There is no end. Fluidity is the way. One by one, they looked within. Universal beauty did they seek. Nope, that's not it. (laughs) One by one, they looked within. Universal beauty they did seek. One by one, they realized, after all, they were not so unique. One by one they connected, realizing we're one. One by one they united, the suffering was done. For I feel your pain and bring you joy. Your river is mine, your pain is mine, your joy is mine. I'll carry you back to the top of the mountain. Oh. Like when I'm, when I was writing this, I was thinking about the entire fucking world, like And I wasn't thinking about every single person's meat sack. I was thinking about the consciousness that we're on. Like, it's almost like I was saying to Serena last night, I was like, I feel like I'm in this collective consciousness just waiting for everyone else to get here. (laughs) Like, I can feel all of you. (laughs) What else did I write? Okay, I wrote... For all the things we didn't see coming, the perspective we're blessed to hold. Fortunate we feel for our view, for the stories that we're told. Blinded we are by noise of the shoulds, woulds, but can'ts. Blinded we are to life, fooled to think that we're apart. We plant our feet in the earth and we feel the roots take hold. Breathing becomes easier as our wisdom begins to unfold. Man, that one slaps. This is why I'm so good at going on a holiday by myself. I enjoy my own brain so much. (laughs) But the thing is, it's like I never feel alone because I'm in the collective consciousness. I feel like you're all here with me. (laughs) When I'm talking to you, I'm like literally talking to you. I'm not even talking to myself in the room like, I hope someone hears this one day. I'm like fucking talking to you, babe. Okay. (laughs) Okie dokie. What else did I write? (laughs) So fucking funny. Can't believe I'm reading this to you guys. Um, uh, what else did I say? Universal source wisdom th- flows through all of us because we are one. Collectively, we are the water at the top of the mountain, in the stream, in the ocean. Our energy is the river. It flows in and out, never stagnating, always renewed. It was her destiny to find her faucet, her tap, to source energy early in life. To have ample time to help others find their tap, their river mouth, their mountain stream. We need to connect the rivers of energy inside each of us before we can connect the rivers of humanity to become the ocean. The ocean is the harmonious example of human life and life on earth in general. Powerful yet nourishing. Once we connect the individual rivers of humanity, we will find our way collectively back to the ocean. 
back to an energetic consciousness held in awareness by all. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> and then I wrote, I drew this little diagram of like the ocean as the collective consciousness and then three people who were connected and inside them were more rivers inside, like going from their heart, like their mind, like, and then the rivers were going to each other and then from each other to the ocean. And I wrote, our nervous system is the riverbed inside us that needs to heal to come back to heart space, to radiate true authenticity, to meet harmoniously together as one at the ocean. Oh my God. Fucking myself up. Oh, and this just popped into my head while I was driving yesterday. It's extremely dangerous to follow without question traditions born from the patriarchy. Forge a new path, a path that aligns with your energy. Paths laid from within will always lead you to light. Okie dokie. Someone's hammering something. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I think that's about all I wrote. There's some more, but that was about it. Anyway, I hope that that's inspired you in some way. I just wanted to, like, I don't know, vomit some inspiration into your face, I suppose. I just want you to know that I love you so much and... Like, oh God, it's, if you're feeling like really lackluster in life, like that's not normal. That shouldn't be your every day. That's not it. This, that's not like, that's not life. If you're feeling like, ugh, you wake up and you're like, ugh, you get through your day, you go to work, you're like, ugh, you get home and you're like, ugh. And then you wake up and you're like, ugh, that's not normal. So shake yourself out of that shit. Okay. And if you're like, oh, I'm just always tired and I never have any energy. That's not normal either. That's also, you know, it's a product of your fucking environment. We live in a world that's constantly sapping every single bit of our attention and energy. Everywhere we go, there's like too much stimulation. This is exactly why you need to get the fuck out to nature as soon as you can. But like that complete drained feeling of like having nothing inside you, nothing to give, like that is not normal. So look inside and be like, what do I need? Is everyone in my life expecting too much of me? Do I have friends that are sapping all of my energy? Even if you love them and they're beautiful people, are they asking too much of you? Is there some boundary you need to put up between you and your work? Do you need to look for a different job? Do you need to look for a different partner? Like not to say to just, you know, be, I'm unhappy and break up with someone. Like maybe you're the problem, but you know, look within, figure it out. (laughs) Don't just keep doing the same day, same fucking groundhog day and repeat. Like that's not living. So sorry to say, but you're the only one who can make a change and you need to make a change, whatever it is, like make a change. Because if you commit to making one change somewhere, you'll realize that you can change the whole fucking show. You can flip your life on its head. Do you know what I mean? But you're the only one that can do that. And if you're in a fucked situation, it might be really fucking hard for you and it might be easy for someone else. And that's so unfair. And I'm so sorry about that. Everyone's got their own different level of what's hard. Of course. Like I feel like for me, I've had a pretty hard time getting through situations that I needed to get out of and change and everything. And I've not had it easy and I haven't had, I don't just like have, (laughs) like I'm going to be the one in my family that breaks the fucking generational cycle and actually brings money into our family to be able to move through life a bit easier and also changes the mindset of everyone about it all. And like, I'm the one breaking the generational trauma. I'm the one fucking doing all this shit so that it doesn't have to be the same for the generations to come, you know? And when you're that person in the family, that's not like easy because you don't really have a lot of like my family have been so supportive. Like they're supportive. They're so like, yeah, babe, you can do anything. They're amazing like that. So thank God. Cause if they were also like, you can't do it cause you suck. Like that would have been even harder, <laughs> but we come from like housing commission and, um, we don't have any fucking money and the parents lost the place in the floods and I've had a child as a teenager and I've just been constantly on the back foot of life, just trying to get ahead and like, was just racing, racing, racing with no fucking idea where I was going. I just knew I had to get the fuck out of there to do something better with my life because I knew I was meant for something great. And I just had to fucking get there. But then I realized I was running in this direction without having any idea where I was going and burning myself out constantly. So I stopped. I was like, I need to figure it out. I need to figure it all out. I'm just going to stop everything. And then I had to literally just close down my business because I wanted to. Like, I was like, I don't want this shit anymore. And who's the who's fucking telling me I have to keep it? No one. Did I, did I worry about everyone looking at me being like, are you crazy? Or did you fail? Like, yes, absolutely. My ego was 100% like, you're failing, you piece of shit. <laughs> and I was like, 
I would rather feel like a failure for five minutes than die of stress because stress will fucking kill you. It will. So I don't know, just draw the line somewhere, whatever it is for you. If you need to change something in your life, fucking change it. Be responsible about it. Have discernment for what's right for you in your situation. Definitely have a bit of courage and bravery because it will be a little bit scary and you have to get out of your comfort zone. Absolutely. May, may or may not work out well. It might be fucking hard. Everything might hit the fan. The universe might be like, sweet, let's pull a rug out from under this bitch like it did for me. <laughs> and it might get way worse before it gets better. And <laughs> you might be like, fuck you, Esther. Fuck you for telling me to change everything. But then you'll get to this point where you're like, oh, actually, it's all gotten a lot better because I've learned so much. The key is learning from every situation that you're in and taking responsibility for every situation that you're in. Be like, okay, my actions led me here. My thought process has led me here. What is it that I need to change? What thought cycles do I need to change? What inner child problem do I seem to have that keeps like lashing out at this? You know, whatever the fuck the thing is, like look at yourself, look at your life, look at what you're doing. Are you happy? Do you have energy? Are you living and feeling purposeful? Are you feeling fulfillment? Are you in a situation that you're proud of? And if not, just change little things. If you can't change the job or it's not the time and you just feel like it's not the time to change the job I'm in, what can you do to make your daily life a little bit better there? Or if you're like, I really can't get out of this relationship right now. It's a bit dangerous. Like what can you do to help give yourself the strength that you need? Or who can you reach out to? Or can you like, I just want you to know that you can and you do deserve to have a better life, a different life. If it's not already amazing, if your life is already incredible, fuck yes. What can you do to get it to the next step? And if you're like, I don't want to, absolutely then stay still, be still, embrace the stillness, like be where you are. If you're in that place, that's incredible. I'm in a place right now where I'm kind of floating. I am charging towards, I don't know, changing the world, I guess. I'm just doing it already, but I'm just keep going forth, but I'm also floating. It's like I'm in flow with the universe and I'm just taking one step after the other and I'm happy with however anything goes because I'm like, whatever, it was meant to happen that way. (laughs) Um, (laughs) so yeah, but I had to go through a lot of turmoil before I got to that place. I'm so fucking lonely. It was not easy. Not easy. Anyway, um, love you so much. It's insane. I just really want you to have an amazing life. I want you to do good for yourself and for other people. And just like the whole point of being alive is to feel it all, to feel these range of human emotions, to feel what it's like to experience another person, another version of yourself. It's to feel joy. It's to realize that you and the tree are like the same thing. It's to appreciate what's around you and to live in gratitude. It's life is really beautiful. Even when it's fucking ugly, it's, we're very lucky to be alive. Very, very lucky. Anyway. Okay. Love you so much. Bye.